Hey guys, before we get into this video, I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much for all the support on the last video. I got literally like a million comments either saying they love my voice or it was like super relaxing. Definitely boosted my ego. Today I'm just going to be commentating while I do a speed paint, so I hope you enjoy. Bye! Okay, first off, I love how I just said like bye in the intro. It wasn't like I was really going anywhere. You're just gonna see me again like right now. But I don't know. I like pre record my intros and outros, so it's just weird to see that lineup. Okay, so first story. It's gonna be a very embarrassing moment. Um, so where I live in the US, it snows. Um, and after a few days of snowing, um, the snow turns into sludge. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just like muddy, gross, wet, watery, snowy goop <laughs> is the best way I could describe it. Um, and it's very slippery. One day in school, we were going inside after recess, um, being outside in sludge, <laughs> um, in lunch. Uh, I ate my lunch, whatever, no problems, until I got up. I was gonna throw away my lunch. I was walking towards the trash can and the saddest thing ever happened to me. Like it's probably one of my, it's definitely one of my top 10 most embarrassing moments of my life. Um, so I was walking over right with my lunch. I literally slipped. You know, that's not the bad part. That's not embarrassing. Everyone slips, right? The bad part is I slipped. I fell flat on my back and I slid right into the trash can and kicked it. You know what would have been even more embarrassing if it like flipped over and spilled trash on me? That did not happen, but like I still like kicked it across like a few feet and literally everyone turned and looked at me in this cafeteria full of like a hundred kids. It was not fun. It was so sad. I was so embarrassed. I walked back to my friends and I was like, oh my God, guys, please help me. I'm so embarrassed. And they were all like, you know, that sucks. <laughs> so yeah, that was my first story. By the way, that happened back in like 6th or 7th grade, so I have recovered by now, but I think it's still like a really fun story that I sometimes tell people, and now I'm telling you. Okay, on to the next one. Um, now that I'm in high school, I know big age reveal, maybe coming in my Q&A, you'll have to see. <laughs> um, I joined crew, which is also known as like rowing, um, because I live near a river. Um, I don't actually row, I'm not a rower, I am a coxswain, which basically is just like the person who steers the boat, um, yells at the people what to do um, and just is basically the captain, you know? So you are in charge, like I already said, of steering, steering the boat. One day, uh, we were doing like a practice race against one of our other boats um, and I lined up and I was all ready. It was going to be awesome. We were going to win for sure. <laughs> um, and, you know, our coach was like, okay, ready, set, go, whatever. Um, I was all lined up to go like straight in the path that I wanted to go. But as soon as we started, this was on like the novice crew. So the rowers weren't that great. They didn't really know how to like sync up that well. And one of the sides was like starting much stronger than the other side. So what that meant was that our boat was facing the total wrong direction or going the total wrong direction that I wanted to go. Um, at this point, I wasn't too experienced either, and we were going at like pretty fast racing speed towards the middle of the river, and I was trying to like steer and say like, hey, more port pressure, whatever. Um, might have been the starboard, I don't really remember. <laughs> um, to get us away from the middle of the river, since you know, it's kind of like driving. You don't drive in the middle of the road. Um, and it wasn't working. I didn't want to stop since it was like a practice race, which you should do. If you are a coxswain by any chance, which you're probably not, please do not crash your boat. That's the last thing you want to do. Um, and we were heading, unfortunately, straight for this motorboat. <laughs> it was so bad. I was like, oh my God, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I was right about to like tell the rowers to stop, to um, like check their um, oars down so, that, so we'd stop super quickly. But <laughs> apparently I didn't do it quite fast enough since our coach and this little tiny motorboat sped over and was like, hello boat, stop, I'll eat, check it down, which in rowing language means to stop immediately um and that was almost a catastrophe we did not crash luckily but like i could hear the speedboat guy yelling at me like hey i'm trying to drive a boat here <laughs> and it was so sad but crises averted don't worry it was just almost very bad okay on to the next story 
this was about a couple months ago and i actually posted a story time um of this like on a skin because it was just so sad <laughs> i wanted to share it but i feel like it's totally different like when i actually speak it out loud um so here we are if you didn't see this also it's a great story so get prepared so this kid saw one of my skins and commented on it like wow omg please make me one i'm a youtuber um so i'm like okay um, I tell him for commissions to contact me on Discord, um, and he did. Um, so some background info you've got to know, um, so you like don't judge me, <laughs> is that I do commissions for like the experience and my ego more so, uh, not really because of the money. Um, but I give the kid my pricing info, and he's like, OMG, that's too expensive. Um, he proceeded to tell me that he was making a video for his skins and that he'd put me in it if I gave it to him for free. Um, I am actually well aware of like the memes in the artist community about like exposure. Um, but like as I just said, um, I don't really care so much about the cash. So, so, I humor this kid. I ask him what his channel is. Uh, he links me a channel with like about 30k subs, which is high enough that you'd want to do it for just exposure, uh, kind of. <laughs> um, but it's not like overly unbelievable. Um, I'm a fair, fairly like gullible, gullible person in general, um, but I was still a little bit sketched out. Nonetheless, I was like, okay, um, and get to work. Fast forward to when I'm almost done with the front side, uh, I decided to like look up his name MC um, and his past skins to check out like which race he would want um, because he didn't specify and I also didn't want to like assume or like bug him anymore um, on Discord. So while I was there, if you didn't know, NameMC has a feature where you can like plug your Discord and other social media, which, you know, is something that YouTubers would do. <laughs> His NameMC um, Discord did not match the one he was using with me. At this point, I connect the dots. I confront the kid about it and he's like, yeah, haha, that's just because I don't want to be recognized, which, bro, that's such a bad excuse. He literally told me his channel. What would be the point of not wanting to be recognized? Knowing that it was total BS, I decided to play along. Um, I was like, oh, that's fine, haha. <laughs> can you message me from your main or give me some other kind of proof so I can just be sure? And he goes like, proof? If this is going to be a problem, I can just find someone else. At this point, I was totally done. I tell him it's not cool to scam like a freaking Minecraft skin artist. Like who does that? <laughs> uh, he definitely was knocking in the skin and I blocked him. Moral of the story is don't be a sad kid like this guy and don't be gullible. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know if there's a specific video you'd like to see next. My Q&A is also going to be coming up soon, so I'll link the skin in the description if you want to leave a comment with your question or questions there for me to answer. Bye!